muffins in the kitchen are very scientific. It's dissolving, Aristotle. And now it's changing colour. They're always asking questions, both general and specific. What does the book say? Oh, uh, perhaps a few more drops. Careful, Newton, you've been slippery. Thanks, Echo. The boffins from the house next door think science isn't fun. They must prefer to hang round or lie back in the sun. Oh, I wish I had my skateboard. Yikes! Come on! Now boffins live in covers. That's where they like to stay. Let's see what sort of science the boffins do today. They're still asleep, Echo. They sleep a lot these days. They must be getting old. It's because they haven't got an alarm clock, Newton. No alarm clock? Of course we have an alarm clock. This drip. That drip woke you up? No, dear. That drip kept us awake all night. Yes, yes. Most infuriating, too. If it would only drip when we wanted it to, mm. it would make an excellent alarm clock. But there is one advantage of a drip. What's that? Well, you don't have to go all the way to the tap when you want a drink. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, yes. Oh. There you are. Uh. Mm? Uh. Thank you, Aristotle. Stupid mm. drip. It's all right, Madame Curie. We'll get ah. you some water. Come on, oh. Newton. Yeah, we don't mind. I'm ready, Echo. You can turn the tap on whenever you like. OK, here it comes. Nice! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Newton, it wasn't me. Even water has to obey the law of gravity. I wish we could find an easier way of getting the water down to the laboratory. Well, it'd have to be a, a scientific way. Hmm, that's true. Oh, well, that's the end of that idea. Well, I think you've solved the problem, Newton. Madame Curie has running water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I would prefer water in a container, thank you very much. Loose water is too uh, uh, watery for me. Oh. Uh, 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 Aristotle, there's got to be an easy way of getting water down to the laboratory than in a bucket. Hmm. To discover a way, first you must observe the water more carefully. OK. Well... It's just water. Oh, nothing is just anything. Does the rain fall down or up? Well, down, of course. Everyone knows that. There you go. So, work on it. Huh? to get the water down to the laboratory, we have to get it out of the sink first. Newton, what are you doing? I'm thirsty. Well, why didn't you use the bucket? The straw's much easier. You just suck up as much water as you like. But that's going against the force of gravity. Oh, it is, isn't it? That's odd. Hmm. Newton! Perhaps we don't have to run the water down to the laboratory after all. Perhaps we can suck it down. Oh, perhaps we can! Yeah! Yes! Water's quite amazing. It's very, very wet. 
It obeys the law of gravity and runs downhill, I bet. It flirts to its own devices, it spills and spreads and floods. Mix a bit of soap in it and presto, you've got suds. Water's quite amazing, it's a liquid without fault. Many things dissolve in it, like sugar, soap, and salt. <laughs> of any type a bucket a tub the kitchen tap or better yet a pipe one more straw and we've done it boy madame curie's gonna be pleased when we give her running water <laughs> And I've nearly finished my alarm clock, too. Mm, I'm not at all sure about this. All you have to do is suck on the end of the pipe and you'll have all the water you want. Ooh, very well, then. Echo and I have made something that's actually going to work. <laughs> uh, well, you might have to suck a bit harder than that. Mm. Oh, all right. <laughs> Here it comes. Are you sure? Oh! 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 Turn off the water! Huh? Turn off the water! You've made a siphon! A what? A what? A siphon! A pipe used to suck out liquids. Once you start it, it's very hard to stop. Turn it off! Oh, I don't think oh. we can. There was water everywhere. I've never seen so much water. Uh, Madame Curie, mm -hmm. my alarm clock will cheer you up. You see, oh. it works on gravity. How clever. The drips splash down from the sink onto the water wheel yes. and into the bucket, ah. gradually filling it until it becomes heavier than the counterweight and... <laughs> ah, it works! <laughs> it's a success. But I got completely soaked. Of course you did. You what? see, it's actually an alarm clock and shower combined. But alarm clocks make noises to wake you up. I think Madame Curie was the noise. She yelled out when she got wet. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Aristotle. Uh oh. Madame Curie. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Water's quite amazing. It's very, very wet. It obeys the law of gravity and runs downhill, I bet. It left to its own devices. It spills and spreads and floods. Mix a bit of soap in it and presto. You've got suds. Water's quite amazing. It's a liquid without fault. Many things dissolve in it, like sugar, soap, and salt. <laughs> to stop it from escaping, use a dam of any type. A bucket, a tub, the kitchen tap. Or better yet, a pipe. 